What's up YouTube? It's Jordan here, J Dubs Aquatics, bringing you guys a quick video on the reef tank. Uh, this video is titled Disaster in the Reef for one reason, and that is because I was using largely the API Reef Master Test Kit for quite some time, testing my calcium and alkalinity with. And um, also using a standard uh, plastic hydrometer to measure my salinity and um, I had a few issues here lately with some of my corals um, over the last couple weeks my frog spawn are not opening up any farther than that um, a couple of these are closed up because I was just in the tank eliminating some green hair algae so uh, the purple torch um, is actually been doing great that's just kind of closed up because I agitated it um, with my arm a little bit when I was in there uh, same with the torches down here. I just kind of agitated them myself when I was uh, in the tank. So the ones I'm having the real problems with are, uh, well actually the Kenya trees didn't open very good today either. But um, mostly the banana tort is looking awful. It's just dying off around the edges. Uh, fortunately I got two frags off of that in the frag tank that are doing very well. So at least I'll be able to save a piece of that. Um, also my plate coral down here really sucks I love this coral but uh, you can see the white skeleton exposed farther and farther I've done uh, two dips on it but, uh, in two separate weeks in an attempt to revive it but it doesn't look like it's gonna make it and um, I'm gonna leave it in here because I've heard plate corals have a tendency to spawn once they die and um, produce you know anywhere from 10 to 30 little mini plate corals of their own so I'm just going to leave it in here and uh, see what happens with that. And uh, unfortunately, also, my bird's nest colony is doing terrible this week. It's starting to develop some hair algae on it. Um, you know, I'm sure that's due mostly to the fact that it's dying and giving off phosphates. So, uh, where the phosphates are, that's where the green hair algae is going to grow. So, um, I'm probably going to be removing the bird's nest pretty soon. It's just getting covered in algae and. Uh, the majority of the polyps are looking terrible. I might try to bring it to the LFS and see if he has a chance to revive it in his tank. But, uh, I don't think it's going to make it in mine. So there's that. Um, like I said, I'm pretty worried about the frog spawn. And um, one of my ACAN frags is not opening up very well up here. Other than that, the rest of my corals have been pretty happy. And um, Basically, my salinity was up to 1.029. That's embarrassingly high. And um, my, my test, my hydrometer was telling me it was right at 1.026. I should have never trusted that thing. They cost like $5. And uh, I trusted my whole tank's livestock on that cheap piece of plastic. So that was a big mistake. I picked up myself one of these refractometers. They're very accurate and um, found out my salinity was at 1.029, like I said. I've been slowly bringing it down over the last couple days, and uh, I was at 1.027 about an hour ago when I tested. So I've got it down almost into the reasonable range. I'm gonna get it down to about 1.025 after the next two days here, though. Or uh, not two days, next two weeks, I'm sorry. And my calcium was also at about 580 is crazy high and um, I, I believe the calcium and the salinity together are definitely why my corals are not all opening up the way they should in fact I'm amazed that the majority of them are doing so good um, my alkalinity was pretty close to what the API kit was saying um, but it was still off by almost one dkh which is pretty significant so uh, my alkalinity was at 11, or I'm sorry, 10.5. I'm getting that back down to 9.5. It's where I like to keep it. And um, that's uh, the major, uh, major problems I had as far as uh, tests being inaccurate. So please, if you're getting into this hobby, stay the hell away from the API Reef Master Test Kit. Um, I I plan on calling them and uh, voicing my opinion on these things because they're selling people 
setting people up for disaster, and that's just not right. Um, so I picked up myself some HANA checkers for alkalinity, calcium, and phosphate, and um, I've been using those. I have a salifert test for magnesium, and um, so that's how I'm doing it now. Um, slowly bringing the levels back down. Calcium was at 510 today. Alkalinity was about right at 10. And um, so yeah, I just really want to stress the importance of not only testing your water, especially in the reef tank, um, weekly. Not only testing your water weekly, but also using a quality test kit. It's going to make a world of difference for you, and I'm learning my lesson the hard way right now. So learn from my mistake. Uh, if you plan on starting up a reef tank, especially with heavily stocked with fish and coral, please spend the money and get yourself a decent test kit, or you're probably going to regret it down the road. Um, so I think I've gone on long enough with my rant here today, but that's where I'm at with the salt water. Uh, thanks for checking out the video today, and happy fish keeping.